Good morning, everyone. We're in North Branch, Michigan today to check out the Orr Historical Museum and the town itself and a little bit of history. Named after the Orr family who provided much of the items in the space here, this is a pretty cool museum. And the first thing we see when we walk in the door is a photograph and a thank you letter from Henry Ford II addressed to the local Ford dealership, the Fitch Brothers, here in town. It's a shop created a Ford franchise on the main street through town. And then we have a safe from Pioneer Bank, which is a pretty cool, elaborate antique safe. Tons of pictures on the walls from various school classes, military memorabilia from the veterans of assorted wars from North Branch. And then we have some historical artifacts donated by local residents. And this really cool old movie poster set from the uh, local cinema in North Branch, the Strand Theater. And I didn't even know North Branch had a theater at one time. And these posters date back to 1941. Such a cool exhibit. This is probably the best exhibit of Michigan license plates you're going to find anywhere. It seems to be a complete set from like 1910 right through the current. And I was very impressed by this, but lots of auto accessories and parts. Lots of transportation themed things and a whole bunch of stuff about the schools too. The old, old high school building that dates back to like the turn of the 20th century. It was North Branch's first high school, I believe. This is a nice postcard of it here. That was replaced in the 1930s by this high school, which is in actually the same location as the first one. Features kind of an art modern or art deco look to it. That was replaced in the probably the late 50s, early 60s by what is the North Branch Middle School now. And then that was eventually replaced by the current North Branch High School, which is a very fine modern school building located just southeast of the downtown area. To see the changes in the schools over the years, also the changes in the different street views and buildings around town over the years. Like I say, there's a really nice collection of photographs and images here that date back over 100 years, well over 100 years, to show and showcase the history and the community events that occurred here in North Branch. And it's kind of fun to look at the old photos and try and match them up with how the current view looks. I actually have a whole page on Facebook dedicated to these kind of photos called Michigan Then and Now, if you want to have a look. Further back in the museum we have a collection of little room and scene replicas that really is quite well done and rivals something you might see at the um, Henry Ford Museum or Greenfield Village or Crossroads Village. It's, it's just so well done. Let's have a look at some of the displays in the back. First we have a kitchen scene and a really elaborate blacksmith shop display that has pretty much everything you would see in a real working blacksmith shop along with examples of the different kinds of materials made, the tools used, everything really that a blacksmith shop would have entailed 150 years ago. I thought that was one of the best displays in here. There's also a farm and hardware area displaying the workings of a farm, uh, hardware items, household you know, support goods, which is really pretty interesting. And then it moves on to garage and industrial equipment, an assortment of vehicles, a pretty nice little car and truck collection, actually, of local interest and history. This is an antique fire pumper truck, a railroad repair car, and we can see some more vehicles and uh, carriages, hardware bins, uh, farm equipment, a Ford Model S from 1907, which most people probably haven't heard of, a Garland wood stove, another stove of some sort here, which I'm not familiar with that logo. Then back to the main entryway, where we have the actual interior of the local post office before it was rebuilt. Everything's here, the cages, the mailboxes, really cool to see. Outside, we look to north, we see the Orr Building, which is an operating hardware store, one of the best old traditional hardware stores you'll find. They have everything in there. It's almost like a museum. 
On the east side of town, we have this cool old gas station that's been added on to several times. You can tell by the different architecture elements in it, but it still retains its character. There's the uh, downtown area, the south side of the main street through town. So just traveling along looking. The building with the blue awning is the Masonic Temple building. And you can match these up with some of the photographs I showed you earlier. On the north side of the main street, there's this very cool building here with the very retro-looking antique clock with neon ring around it, which sadly doesn't work anymore, but it's still pretty cool. And a gas station right next to that. Just west of the gas station, we have the subway, which was where the Ford dealership was. This, by the style of it, you can tell it clearly was a car dealership at one time. And this is where the Ford dealer was. On the south side, across from there, we have the Pioneer State Bank building, which has a historical plaque next to it. And one of the smallest commercial buildings you're ever going to see. It looks like it's about five foot wide. It's a hair salon. Other assorted buildings on Main Street. And right here where this building with the arches are is the City Hall now. And that's where the movie theater, The Strand, used to be years ago. I don't think it's the same building, but it was right here in this location. All right, well, we are leaving North Branch, heading west toward M24. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and bye for now.